Hello YouTube, uh, Mr. Katar 55 here, Ryan, Dr. Pepper, whatever you want to call me. Back for a review, this time it's going to be a Kamen Rider Sochaku Henshin figure um, of Deno Sword Form Motorus, whatever you want to call him. Um, I just tried shooting this, it took me 9 minutes just to get past the box and to open the fucker up and start shooting your accessories. So, done a bit of preparation, I've got him out of this box, I've got all the pieces put together and I'm just going to try and get through this as quickly as possible. There's the box, it's pretty. There'll be a box in there with the platform and all the different pieces to show you what comes off, all that kind of stuff. Very pretty box, very colourful, very interesting, lots of beautiful artwork. Stuff you can do on the back. By comparison to the figure arts box, a lot more interesting to look at, I think. Yes, this is a bit more stylish, a bit more sleek, a bit more modern, but I like to have stuff I can see, and that's a lot more interesting to me. Also, the power range for... The, you get more metal on this... It's a lot more finicky and obviously bits can bits parts forming so bits can pop off and that's a lot more solid. I can look a lot more sleeker but and a lot more articulation but I kinda like the gimmicks of this better. But the main reason that I like this so track I mentioned more than I like this is because of the price. So I just kinda that message. It's because this cost me twenty quid and I get not very much. I got loads of stuff for this for a tenner. You know, so if I could get more riders like that, I would pay that. I'd pay ten every time for every ride I can possibly get before I pay let's say big watts prices. Sixty quid for some things. Um, I, I can't. I'm not going to go into that. I want them to look great, but the parts are expensive. My roommates are going out. Freshers week. Here's me playing with toys. What can you say? Anyway, so here you go. Here's the base platform. On these, so Chaku mentioned so. Chaku Henshin figures, you basically just get a base body, and on some of them, um, you just have a head, like the rider's actual head before you put the mask on, um, which I kind of like more than like this, but sometimes he can look a bit strange, because they're smaller, so you can put the head on, so the head looks in scale with the rest of the body, but you know, but this one you get the platform head, so you can pretend like this is your little platform, um, he's got, it comes packed with this belt buckle on it, but you can take that off, and, um, but that's mainly for the gimmick for if you've got all the pieces from uh, the, the set one, which is like 80 quid. No, what it was, it was £120 for proxy buyer to buy it for me and send it to me. 120 quid for one base body and all those parts, I'd probably lose. I'd rather just spend £10 over to get all the different figures and then display them together. Got a little battery now. Anyway, move on with the view. Why do I like Deno? Deno. I was the first Kamen Rider series I got into after Master Rider. Master Rider was my first one way back in the day. And Dano got me because of the style and the and the uh, whole anime approach to it. And I was a big fan of anime. I actually watched this um, when it was being subbed for the first time by TV Nihon back in 2007. Well, that's before I got back into the Transformers. I got the figure this year when I started collecting again, but nevertheless. Before the bandwagon people. So... Yeah, I was into Kamen Rider beforehand. I tried to get into um, Kiva, wasn't for me. At the time, Kabuto wasn't for me, but I'm getting back into it now. Um, but Deno was perfect for me, and I, I, I was mad on Deno. I downloaded AAA, Climax Jump, but I thought the whole thing is just brilliant. Apart from Kai, we'll ignore Kai, shall we? I know it's a very divisive thing, but whether Deno is good or not, some people will punch you in the face if you mention the word Deno. For me, I love it. And I, I actually bought the HK Subs um, DVD of it because I like it that much. Even though I can watch it on YouTube in its entire, in its complete form, sub by TV Nihon, I got the DVDs. Anyway, the figure. The gimmick with Sochaku Henshin is you got your Sochaku, which is your die cast, and your Henshin, which is you can transform from its base form into its armored form. Um, seeing how this is Deno's platform, it's not really much of a Henshin. And the actual forming of the armour can be a bit finicky. Like I said, fresh is weak, that's probably what that is. So yeah, it's a... Uh, woo woo. Um, can be a bit finicky to put all the pieces together because you've got these very small pegs to put on. If I was a little kid trying to play with this figure, I would be bollocked. Well, you know what I mean. I, I would not find this easy to do at all. And you place that into the pegs on his chest You've got this back piece here that you just put into his back and the pegs provided. Line it all up. And then this is what I like. 
these bits here. I'm not sure if you can see. There you go. Those bits here just fold around and lie flush just to lock that in place. And you get a very, 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 very nice armor. It feels like armor. It's it's die cast. You don't think that's going to go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. Beautifully sculpted, beautifully painted, and you know these two bits here just lie flush to create the armor. You wouldn't even know that they came apart. I certainly didn't. I didn't know that those things folded when I first got out of the box. Guys, I can't read Japanese instructions. And then just to finish off the box, they don't have those gaping pieces at the back. They give you this back panel, which is um, axe forms chest, but it's down uh, sword forms back. So pluck that on there, and that's that's your back. I love the attention to detail in this thing. It's fantastic. This is before I see figure watch, by the way. You get his mask. This is the only thing I don't like about this figure is this mask. Because you plonk it on there, and you know, there's Deno. I mean, that's quite, that's quite obviously Deno. But from some angles, it just looks ah oh, man. From some angles, it just looks really weird. Some square on, it's fine. These things may look a bit too long, but when you're posing them, it can be a bit tricky to get that look natural. And it definitely doesn't look natural from the side. Looks like a helmet with some kind of deformed thing coming out of them. But the attention to detail is, is accessory counts because you can get a sword, which is his Den Gasher sword form. Then you can get the Den Gasher belt extensions, so you can plug these on. And even though these bits aren't painted, they're actually individually sculpted, so you can plug them on their own um, unique peg, which is where they'd be in the show. And uh, you can actually re remove them so that way you can hold the sword and have these belt extensions on so it's a bit more show accurate but I think that gets in the way when you try to pose them so I leave them off but I'll show you these on in a minute you also get three sets of hands, you've got the fists that's in them at the moment a set of holding things hands which are, uh, have got double kind of posability here you can get them to kind of flick two fingers up at you or this is mainly for holding the bike you can like put the bikes on because the thing is so chock crunch into their own bikes um, which I don't have because they'll be expensive. So you could hold it like that, and then those things would be on the brakes. And you've got calmly splayed hands. But what I like to do, I'll just show you off with the uh, with with the belt extension on. There you go. So there you go. There you've got with his belt on, and it looks good. It really, really does. I like it a lot. Have I got this one? Yeah, I've got this one. And this is, again, this is before SH figure watch, so we can forgive certain things, like, the, you know, the the screw hole in his bum. Um, oh, that sounded dirty, didn't it? Oh, we're all back to lug nut again. But this is before figure watch, so we can forgive some things. He's got amazing articulation for the time, amazing sculpt, like a universal ball joint on his leg. That's, that's a really cool joint. Uh, double jointed knees. I mean, yeah. Again, screw holes and pegs in his knees. We can forgive that. Just a ball joint, a very limited ball joint, ball and swivel joints in his leg, his feet, which are very disappointing. Makes it really hard to pose because, like, because of all the die cast on him, could be quite top heavy. Um, that's well. I'm just gonna take those pieces off. Again, and they're on pegs that can swivel, so you can pose them as well. Um, his arms can do more movements than you can, and without the chest armor on, he's got two points of articulation on his chest, um, one at the waist and that's all ball jointed, and a ball jointed head which is limited by the head, uh, by the helmet design. That's something that happens quite a bit. Changing the hands can be tricky because they can be a bit stiff to get in. Oh why? <laughs> really dirty tonight, nice. don't know why. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's right. So you plug that in. And because of what I said, it's going to be tricky, it obviously isn't tricky. Then you can just plug his sword in. I'll plug it in, but you can actually hold it. I would have preferred if these hands were sculpted so they can just slide the sword in so it holds it a lot better. And there you go. So there is a motorosa strike. Pose him slightly for you. Something like that. Move him to a sword form. He is fantastic. I, he looks great on my shelf. I pose him in kind of like an Ori Sanju Hisatsu attack pose. And I think it's brilliant. Um, I'm re-watching Den at the moment. It's a fantastic figure. If you can get him for the price I did get him, he's very much worth your time. Unless you get the figure watch version, but that's going to cost you 40 quid or whatever. Anyway, got to wrap this up. Mr. Kisazi 55. Signing off. Have a good night.